Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. All right now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're learning about multiplying, dividing fractions and mixed numbers, finding each product. So if I was given these numbers, negative one and five sevenths times a negative two and one half. Okay. Well, first thing, I'm going to convert each one of these to a improper fraction. So, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 5 is 12. So, if a negative, 12 over 7. Don't forget the negative. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 over 2, don't forget that negative. All right, so now I'm going to see if I can simplify these fractions. Okay. 2 goes into 12. Right? So 1 here and 12 becomes a 6. 12 divided by 2 is a 6. Okay? So now let's go multiply across the numerator and across the denominator. Well, 6, you can see here, 6 times 5 is 30, and 7 times 1 is 7, and a negative times a negative is good old positive. So we have positive 30 over 7. Okay? So now let's write that as a proper fraction. Well, 7 goes into 30, right? How many times? How many times evenly? Well, 7 goes into 28, right? Four times. So 4 here, 4 times 7 is 28. Subtract the 2, and we have 2 left over. So what does that mean? What does that mean here? Well, 4 is a whole number out there, 2 being the remainder, the top of the fraction, and 7, so the divisor. So, so our final answer here is just a positive 4 and 2 sevenths. So quick recap, we're given negative 1 and 5 sevenths times negative 2 and 1 half. Converted both of these to uh, improper fractions, simplified a little bit, then multiplied out. 30 over 7. Then 7 went into 30 four times with 2 left over. So there's 4 here, 2 left over at the top of that fraction. 7 still is in the denominator. So again, final answer, 4 and 2 sevenths. Sevens. Hi, I'm Sean Yen, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.